Okay, so this question has to do with uh, calculating a slope from a DEM. Um, normally when we calculate slope, uh, we use an input raster, um, we set our output raster, and uh, potentially set a degree and z-factor if we need to. Uh, in this case, when we run this, uh, what we find is that um, the slope values that we're getting uh, are going to include a lot of zero values. So this DEM is from the western part of the northwest portion of Sicily, and all of these uh, pixels have zero values. So when we run a slope on them, uh, as you see, uh, we're going to get zero values for all of this um, ocean. So what we might want to do is, um, is uh, eliminate these. Now we could create a mask uh, for that, um, so that would certainly be one way to do it. Um, but what I want to do is set all of these values, uh, instead of being zero, uh, I want to set them to null. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to use the raster calculator. And what the raster calculator lets you do is um, do operations. You can do combinations. In this case, uh, I'm going to use a, a tool called set null, which is a conditional style tool. Uh, you can read a little bit more about this uh, on the Esri website. Uh, some good, uh, some good comments. A nice, very simple question and a simple answer, and that's what this is based on. Um, so what we want to do is we want to look to see um, where our DEM is equal to a certain value, and in this case, equal to zero. Uh, and what we want to do is, if that's true, we're going to set it to null. And then the second argument is, if that's not true. Um, then what do we want to do with it? And what we want to do is we want to use the original value from the DEM. So this we're going to save uh, and, and write out. There we go. Um, to, we'll just call it fixed DEM for now. So this should be a pretty quick operation. Okay, uh, now this looks the same. Uh, the difference is that you can see that this low value is now set to negative uh, some giant number, and that negative number is an indication that this is actually a, a not a number value. Um, so if you wanted to, to visualize that, you could come in here um, and you could take this low value that we see here um, and write that out as a background value using um, hollow as its view. And if we turn this off, you can see that we've actually clipped out um, the exterior portion. So those numbers are still there. Um, they just have this very large negative number uh, that lets the system know that that's actually not a number at all. Now you do have to be careful. Um, we did look for any zeros. Um, so if any, if there were any zeros anywhere in here, um, we would be overwriting that with not, not a number. So any, any interior spaces could also be overwritten. Uh, however, because this is uh, a decimal raster and if we kind of use our inspection to kind of look around we can see that these values all have decimals out to some place and so it would be very unusual for one of these um, to have a value of zero uh, precisely um, so we're probably pretty safe we could we could probably run um, some focal statistics on this if we wanted to be uh, sure that we weren't missing a pixel here or there um, but that should probably do it uh, now when we run slope from this We can run slope on the fixed DEM. And we'll write this out as good slope. And this should just take a second. Uh, we'll pause for a moment. And there's our slope coming in. Uh, and you can see that when we calculated this, we're um, not calculating on this, uh, this ocean layer. Uh, and compare that to our original, uh, which had all of these extra um, extra zeros in it. So um, a nice easy way to use the set null tool within the raster calculator um, to replace those missing values. Thanks.